Morning, Michelle here. <laughs> uh, you can probably see my breath. It's a little chilly out here. I have my coat jacket on. I don't know that I'll be taking it off. Have a new workout today. It's called Get Pumped. There's six exercises, 10 second break, 50 second rounds, um, 50 second work, 18 rounds. So we're gonna go through the six exercises three times through. We, um, I have the straps up because the last one is a pull up to a bicep curl. If you don't have the straps and you don't have the bar, I have brought dumbbells out. So I'll show you with the dumbbells. I have alternative moves for all of them in case you don't have a bag and you have dumbbells or whatever. So we'll, I'll go through that as I do the exercises. I'll have my breakdown on my blog, mycrazyworkout.com. You can go there, you can copy the exercises down and do it at your convenience, or you can hit play and follow along with me. I'll talk you through them as we do them, but I'll also have them broken down. Here's what your timer looks like. 10 second rest, 50 second work, and it's 18 rounds. Like I said, it's three times through. We have a couple burpee exercises in there. I like them. So we are gonna get started, get warmed up here. It's chilly. Uh, first one is five squats, hold, press overhead, and a burpee. I'll, I'll take you through them. I'll start with my sandbag. And if you don't have a sandbag, you can do dumbbells or no weight at all, it doesn't matter. Uh, the second round, I'll show you with the dumbbells. So roll it up and hold it in front. Five, four, three, two, one press overhead, hold it, press, lower it down, and a burpee back, back up. Five, four, three, keep your chest lifted, your abs are tight, push that back, or that butt back, hold, press overhead, down and a burpee. Five, four, three, two, hold, press overhead, down, and a burpee. Okay. We have 10 mountain climbers, five frog hops. Okay? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hold, frog hop in. 2, 3, 4. Try and hop those feet to the hands. Back out, hold. 10, 9, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hold, frog hop. Four, three, two, one. Mountain climbers. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Push up, core rotation, burpee. You're gonna push up, rotate right, push up, rotate left, come back, push up, and a burpee. Push up, rotate right, push up, rotate left, push up, and a burpee. Push up, and a rotate, push up, push up, and a burpee, push up, core rotation, push up, core rotation, push up, and a burpee. Alternating front lunge, and then you hold for four jump lunges. Right, twist to the right. Back in, left, twist, hold here. Four, three, two, one. Step back, out. You're gonna hold here, four jump lunges. Four, three, two, one. Step back in. 
hold, four, three, two, one. Lunge out, lunge out, hold, four, three, two, one. Let's step in. Oh, wow. Bands, pull up to a bicep curl. If you don't have the bands, you can use a dumbbell, dumbbells. The further you are parallel to the ground, the harder it is. The closer you're up on the bands, the easier it is. Pull up, bicep curl. Up, bicep curl. Whew. Up, bicep curl. Pull up, curl. Pull up. Squeeze the middle of your back together and your elbows back when you do your pull up. These are hard. Okay, I'll show you with dumbbells for the next round. I'm going to show you with dumbbells for the five squats, shoulder press. If you don't have a bag, hold your dumbbells. Five, hold them however you feel comfortable. Three, you can hold them down here. Two, one, press overhead and a dumbbell or a burpee. You hold where you feel comfortable. Make sure you keep that chest lifted. The abs are tight. Press that butt back. One more, do a shoulder press. Press up, down, burpee. Five, I've seen my breath. Four, <laughs> three, two, one. Hold for a shoulder press and a burpee. Ten mountain climbers, five frog hops. If you don't want to jump, it looks like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, one, two, three, four. There's no hop. Okay? Hopping. One, two, three, four, five. Nine, ten. Hop in. Four, three, two, one. Mountain climbers. Four, three, two, one. Hop in. Five, four, three, two, woo, one. Mountain climbers. Oh. Push up core rotation to a burpee. Push up core rotation right, push up core rotation left, push up burpee. Push up core rotation. Push up core rotation. Push up and a burpee. Push up. You can take these push ups down to your knees if you want to. Okay? You. Take it to your level. It would look like this. You work at your pace. If you don't want to jump, leave the jump out. You would just step in like so. Like that, okay? Alternate front lunge. If you don't have a ball, lunge, rotate right, lunge, rotate left. Hold. Four, three, two, one. Step back in. Lunge. And you don't have to do a weight. Whoops, I shouldn't have stepped back in. Four, three, two, one. 
lunge. I did it again. Four, three, two, one. Now stepping. Twist. Twist. Hold it. Four, three, two, one. Burpee sumo squat. Did I do this one the last time? We might be throwing this one in at the end. Squat and a lift. I think I missed this one. Squat and a lift. Squat low. Lift and pull the knees up. Don't bend your waist down. Keep your abs tight and your waist still. Bring that knee to the elbow. I know I missed it. I was excited about those, the back and the biceps, wasn't I? That's okay. We'll hit it twice at the end. I'm gonna do the dumbbells. For the second round, you're going to do a row, come up, and a curl. Row, keep your back flat, your knees stay, slight bend. When you row up, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Don't just pull the weight up, row. Feel your back squeeze. Engage that back. Pull with the arms, and then halfway up, squeeze that back. Five squats, press overhead to a burpee. One, two, three, four, five. Press overhead, hold, do a burpee. Push up, 
core rotation, push up, core rotation, push up, and a burpee. Alternating front lunge with a twist and four jump lunges. Twist and in. Twist, hold, four jump lunges. Four, three, two, one. Step back. Lunge and twist. Lunge, hold. Four, three, two, one. Twist. Now hold. Four, three, two, one. Twist. Twist. Hold. Four, three, two, one. Step in. Okay, burpee with the sumo squat knee lift. Let's do this right. We'll probably have to hit this one one more time. Sumo squat, knee lift right. Drop as low as you can. Squat down, lift up. Squat low and burpee. Down and lift. Are you breathing hard? I am. I know we're going to have one more round of these. I know. I forgot them. Okay, pull up to bicep curl. Ready? Up and curl. Up and curl. Up and curl. Up and curl. Row, bicep 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 curl. Oh. Oh. Okay, we should have one more burpee with the sumo squat knee lifts and it should be it, okay? Sorry I screwed up. Squat low, real low. You don't have any weight, drop it as low as you can go. Legs are parallel with the ground. Drop that butt down. Out 
and then you're gonna roll back, okay? Let me get this set up. Whew. Three exercises, 10 second rest, 50 second break, and we're gonna do six pounds. So we're gonna do it two times through. I'll show you here in a minute. And I'm gonna lower my straps, show you. You want your straps to be down so that if you have them, they're at your thighs. As you come out, your arms will come out around the side like you're, like, almost like you're doing a breaststroke. And you'll lower down, keeping your arms flat and engage your core to catch yourself and then back up. I'll show you. If you don't have either, hold in a plank. It doesn't matter. Just so you engage that core. Planks are awesome and we're actually going to do a plank. Um, we're going to do it, you don't have to do it on a yugi ball or a ball or a bench, whatever you have. But it'll make it harder. We're going to do a plank on that. Okay. All right, so. Oh, they might not be low enough. Let me lower them a little bit more. So. Straps are at your thighs. I'm going to show you this real quick. I'm going to kick my bag out of the way. Lower out and then pull and come back in. If you are strong enough, you can do this standing. I don't think I am at this point. I'm going to start out kneeling. Okay, that's what it looks like. This is what your timer looks like. We're going to roll right into the abs. 10 and 50, okay? Six rounds, three exercises. First one's going to be a plank, toe tap, and you're going to do it off the Yugi ball, or a bench, or a bag, or a couch, or a coffee table, whatever you have. You want your feet to be on the item, and you want your back and your abs to be tight, back is flat. You're going to tap out, and you're going to tap out, okay? So that's the first one. Second one are the straps or the stability ball. Third one is a Russian twist with the dumbbell. And we are not twisting our entire body, okay? Body stays straight. You are twisting the elbows to touch the side. Stop talking, right? Here's your 10 second break. We're gonna start. If, if you don't have a ball, hold in a plank position. You do not have to go in on, to, you don't have to elevate it. Engage that core. You only want to take that leg out to where you don't twist, to meet it or to look at it. Keep that body straight. If you get tired, hold in a plank. Go to your elbows if your wrists start to hurt. Breathe. Okay, we are going to roll out. If you don't have the straps, do it on a ball. And pull back in. Don't let your body sink. Hold it tight. Whether you're on the ball or the straps. Okay, 
Russian twist is next. When you do these, you want to make sure that your whole body isn't twisting. You don't have to hold your legs up, but you do have to look forward. You have to create a C with that body, hollow out that stomach. Tap those hands down without turning your body to see those hands. Keep your head forward and straight, eyes straight ahead. Russian twist. Remember, you don't have to lift your feet off the floor. Hold that stomach in. Hollow out that stomach. Keep those eyes straight ahead. Contract those abs. Keep that back tight. Open that mouth and breathe. <laughs> Drop those feet if you need to. Okay? You do what you need to do. But don't cheat. Take a break when you need to. Oh. Okay, you had that core contracted pretty tight. Pull those knees in and release them. Release the abs. Take the stress off the lower back. Roll your knees side to side and release the tension in your back. We kept it contracted, kept it tight. We need to loosen it back up. What you're gonna do is you're gonna grab a hold of your legs on the underside behind your knees and roll yourself up. Cross your feet over in front of you and sit Indian style. Walk your hands out and release that pressure off the lower back. Drop the elbows down to the floor. If you keep them up, you keep tension on your shoulders. Lower them down. Drop your chin towards the floor. Not your head. Don't roll your back. 
okay? Keep that back flat. You should feel a stretch in your hips. You should feel that stretch through the back. You might not be able to go that low. You might only be able to go to here. Gradually, as you inhale, exhale and see if you can walk your hands out a little bit further each time. Inhale again. Exhale, walk them out. Remember, you're dropping your chin to the floor, not your forehead, don't round your back. If you feel you can only go to here and it starts to pull, hold here. Don't go to where you feel pain. You wanna feel it stretch and it feel, should feel good. If it starts to hurt, walk back up. Don't walk out as far. You go to where you feel comfortable. Okay, roll it back and lay back down. You're gonna drop your knees to the right and your arms to the left. You want to look over your left shoulder, okay? Roll that other arm, roll the right arm to the right side so you're in a T position. Now, the thing that you want to remember is, is you don't want to lift your hips off the ground, okay? So when you drop over, you want to feel that stretch through the left oblique. So don't roll over all the way so that you're facing. You want to keep the left, if you want to keep the left arm out and you want to look over to your left when your knees are to the right. Now we're going to take a deep breath and inhale. We're going to exhale and we're going to roll our legs to the left. And we're going to take our head over to the right and you should feel the stretch in the right obliques. Deep breath, inhale. Exhale, roll everything back up. Hold on to those knees, rock it side to side and massage that lower back. And then a deep breath, inhale. Grab behind those knees, exhale, and roll it up. That's your workout for the day. I hope that you enjoyed it. I will see you soon. Have a good day. Enjoy.